Hey everybody, John here. So you don't need to see my face, so let's just get right into it. Uh, I hope that works for you. Anyway, so I've got one of these uh, 6300 series uh, power converters. This is in my 91 Toyota Warrior. Now, uh, I replaced this thing about four and a half years ago with a newer model. I guess it's uh, the digital model as opposed to the analog model, which I was told will uh, fry uh, the electronics, uh, you know, computers, stuff like that. So this has been upgraded to this. The, uh, the plate down here was not. It doesn't matter. Anyway, when I did this four and a half years ago, I basically just took a picture of what was there, disconnected everything, threw in the new box and then put the uh, the new model in and put all the wires exactly where they were. Now I think in hindsight that that was crap and I probably shouldn't have done that. Because what's happened is it's about 90 degrees out at the moment and so I'm in here sweating. But 90 degrees with the television on, my computer plugged in, Andrea's computer plugged in, and I started to smell something burning. And so I went on a witch hunt, and I found that some of the, uh, the common wires, if you can see it down in there, that one is now uh, turning sort of brownish black. That was uh, going to catch fire. Now what had happened was, in the past, I only had three breakers. I had it set up like this, black, blue, and red. Now, the black was my power in, so that was the 30 amp line from outside, and this breaker was switching that. The middle breaker was basically all of my appliances, so I had one breaker handling all the appliances and the, uh, the circuits. So the circuit for the microwave, the circuit over there for the uh, uh, refrigerator, as well as, uh, you know, running the TV and that sort of stuff, all was slaved off of one uh, position breaker and one circuit and then over here I had uh, I've got batteries instead of a uh, generator and those batteries are connected to an uh, inverter over there and the inverter feeds 120 into this panel via this breaker so if we're boondocking, the land or the shore feed would be off and the inverter breaker would be on. When we go to a campground, obviously the inverter is turned off and the uh, inverter breaker is off. And then we activate the, uh, the land line feed. So what I'm gonna do is replace all these single position breakers. This one basically was set up like this, like I said. All these single position breakers are being replaced by the same amperage, but dual position breakers. So I'll have the uh, inverter again all the way on the end, and then I have three positions. I'll, maybe I'll put just the microwave on one by itself. And maybe I'll put, uh, I don't know, maybe the, uh, the refrigerator on one by itself, and then uh, the other stuff, the TV, which is low amperage anyway, will be, or the rest of it will be over here. The issue is, as I said, the uh, we were we we're burning something up, and the uh, I got to get my amp clamp out and uh, and meter it, but I think that the uh, air conditioner is drawing about 23 amps, and with all this crap uh, set up the way it has been, uh, we're probably drawing uh, in excess of that, which I don't understand why the uh, 20 amp breaker here wasn't tripping, but so be it. So. Uh, there we go. That's the before video. Now, let me do all this stuff, and then we'll have a, uh, a follow-up video in a little bit. Okay? Talk to you. Bye.